Okay, so I think I think the partying has already commenced, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, fans are right now bullpen DC. This is a Navy Yard. What is it called again? Burgundy and sold. That's where Eric Flack <laughs> joins us tonight. Hey, Flack. Hey, so Burgundy and Soul, Sold is a complete vibe. And I got to tell you, I'm standing next to a Washington football great, Ryan Mitchell. And just on a personal level, before we start, B. Mitch, as he's known to all of us here in D.C., was a player that I grew up watching and loving. So this is a fun experience and opportunity for me. Appreciate it. B. Mitch, we were talking off camera. Talk about why you believe there is such kind of joy and also fans wanting to come together to celebrate this moment. I think when you look at it, I rolled in town in 1990, and I automatically assume, I recognized this was a family thing. The team and the fans were intertwined. And I played for this team for 10 years, and here comes Dan Snyder. He rolled in and you saw it just slowly separate. And all of a sudden now, the fans still want to cheer for the players, but they hate who owns it. And now we get a chance to go back to loving the players, loving the team, and trying to bring this thing back together. It was so much that we had people calling the radio station today, grown men crying, talking about how they were with their family and their dad and wishing their parents could be here to see this happen. And listen, man, I was kicked out of town when Dan rolled in. And I always had a connection with the fan base. Yeah, that That's was a mistake, I, by the way. Yeah, it was. I know that. That's why I roll back in town and I do what I do, and I'm around, and I, I believe in telling the truth about stuff. I never thought it was a professionally run organization once he took over, and I said that. And I've had conversations with him. I've talked to him on a personal level. He's like, you're hard on me. No, I'm not hard on you. I'm hard on my family. I expect stuff out of my family, and if you can't live up to what I expect, I need to tell you that I don't believe in it. And I think that's the ultimate thing where now fans are believing. People say Josh Harris hadn't won a championship, but he's in the party, okay? And if you can be in the party consistently, you give yourself a chance. So I'm ready for this thing to come back to the family-oriented thing I saw and I inherited in 1990, not the crap we've been seeing for the last 24 years. Let me try to get one more out of you. What is Josh Harris's biggest obstacle on day one. What does he need to do first? I don't think he has an obstacle on day one. I think his obstacle is going to come a year later because I believe so many people are going to be so happy that Dan is gone. He gets that grace period. But you have to make sure you have a plan in place to make sure these fans understand you give a damn, you mean to make sure that they're going to have some good stuff, and also not that you're taking, you're giving. If you can do that as an owner, I think you'll be good. Uh, as a former great who has given back to this community for years and years, we thank you, man. Appreciate thank you, you for brother. Thank you. sharing some time with us. Uh, this guy is a, a legend and he is a celebrity. I had to pull him away from the pictures and the selfies just to get him to come over and talk to us. But the party just getting started down here at the bullpen. Washington Commanders fans wanting to celebrate this moment with other Washington Commanders fans. And uh, it's a heck of a party going on right now. Back to you guys. I'm telling you, he, B. Mitch, he said it. He 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 yep. channeled every Washington football mm -hmm. fan and put it that succinctly as to what it's going to mean now for Josh Harris to take over and yeah. what he'll be facing in the next year. Yeah, at the moment, a lot of people are just excited. You yeah. know, the Dan Snyder is gone. Then the real work begins shortly after. That's right. All right, and by the way, a lot of folks reacting to this news, including Maryland Governor Wes Moore weighing in on the sales, saying, quote, Maryland is excited to welcome this new leadership group and looks forward to working together on a vision for the next generation of Commanders football. For 25 years, the Commanders have called Prince George's County home, and Governor Moore is committed to ensuring this long-standing partnership continues for the next generation. There it is, starting the stadium uh, sweepstakes keep, keep it here. between D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. That's going to be the next battle coming up over the next year or two.